everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here. And welcome to, to the, the channel. channel. Hey, we did a video uh, a couple days ago or recently. And I talked a little bit about how convenient it was inside the Tundra and the fact that you could reach everything. So I was thinking after we did that video, well, why not put your video where your mouth is, right? And, your video where your and let's just show that indeed it is easy to reach everything while you're driving the Tundra. Because you know, it is a big truck and there is lots of space in here. And also, there's lots of room to store things, to carry things while you're driving around. Because you know, you might want to take a lot of stuff with you. You might have to every day, depending on your job and what you're doing. You know, my job in particular now is YouTubing, so I have to carry a camera and then I carry my phone, of course, so that I can see, you know, what is on the camera. And that is actually right there in the windshield, you guys can see. So I have to have room for all this stuff, right? Sit there, honey. I know, isn't it? So. Is there enough space for all this stuff? Well, I'm going to show you guys. You know, Chris and I went out. We went to McDonald's. Uh, first off, because we had to start with a couple of drinks. So we have those Very here. Very important. And, of course, they fit right here in the center console. Right here where you can easily reach them for a drink, you know. Yep. While you're driving. And that's important. You don't want to have to be struggling around and trying to grab stuff or whatever. It's right here where you want it. Very nice. Now, down here in the front, you know, you got to bring your sunglasses with you. And there is a cup holder down there. You guys can see right in front of where my drink was. Right there. there. And while that cup holder really is useless for anything. Yeah, you can't fit anything there. Except. A small cup. Or. Putting your sunglasses case in there. I mean, it fits in there perfectly, and because it is a cup holder, it keeps the sunglasses from rolling around all over the place, you know, when you're turning or spiritedly driving. Spiritedly. Now, over here on the side, where Krista is, yep. there is a uh, long slotted space, I guess, where yep. you can put more stuff. Yep. Now, Hers, Krista... My sunglasses. Yeah, she's got her sunglasses case here. And it's a small one, thin one, and it actually fits right right in there very nicely. It does. And then her little, I don't even know what, what is this thing? It's a small, it's a hand purse, whatever a you hand, call it. A hand purse, a handbag. A wristlet. A wristlet. Yeah. Now, while I don't carry this. I would certainly hope not. Uh, Krista does, and it fits right there in that little slot. And I keep forgetting there's a little slot here, too. There is. That's good for the passenger. I can't say that I could really. No, this would be good well. for you, and I'm not really sure what it would be good for because there's no lip to hold anything in. But there is a little slot there. It must be good for something. Well, maybe your cell phone or something. No, I don't think so. It'll slide right out of there. But anyway. But as the driver, you can of course reach all this stuff easily, yep. Yep. and you don't have to be six foot five with eight foot long arms to do it. I mean, it's all right here. Six foot five with eight foot long arms. You'd look awfully strange. Well, you'd have to bend your arm all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, further down here in the front, there is a little change thing right here in front of the uh, armrest. So you can put a little change or whatever you want right here in that little space. That's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And then something I noticed recently, it seems I always need a pin. You yes. know? And I want it accessible. I could stick it somewhere, you know, in the glove box or underneath the armrest or something but there's a little ledge right here uh, beside is. the shifter and a pen fits there very nicely and yeah. it doesn't flail all over the place when you're driving how about that pretty convenient i like that yeah i never would have thought of that now further up here in front of the uh shifter uh to the left of the cup or the, the cup holder, the sunglasses holder, as I'm using it here. There is a ledge right here where you can put stuff. Stuff. You know, if you have anything else. You might even be able to fit your cell phone there if you didn't carry it on the windshield like I do. Mm -hmm. So that's awfully convenient. It is. Now, the armrest. 
first of all, I love this armrest. They oh. give the driver a little more room here. It's a little wider on this side, as someone pointed out recently. Mm -hmm. um, so there's plenty of room. You know, if you've got a uh, and plenty on the passenger side, you know, Popeye size forearm, it'll still fit there. Plenty of space. I like that. Or olive oil, like. That's right. Or the the oil of olive. The sure. lanky people you know, fits here too. <clears throat> so it's pretty nice. Um, and then also in the armrest here, you have this little indented spot where you can put your stuff. Now, like so. There you go. Your phone case or or your glasses case or even and your phone case is flat, so that fits there. Perfect. Fits very nice it there. Really come out. You just have to remember not to open this thing with something in it or. It'll be back there somewhere. But that's a whole different video that, that we've already done, by the way. Mm -hmm. So you got to remember that. Now, one other thing that I'll mention uh, that, that is easily accessible is the center console compartment. You guys can see in here not very well. No. Um, there is a lot of space inside that center console where you can store stuff. I have a, a tray in there right now that was sent to me by Gear Runner, by the way, um, to kind of organize stuff. It's kind of an organizer tray. I'll mm -hmm. have a, a picture here for you so you can see what that is. Mm -hmm. But it makes it awful convenient to open that, reach in there and grab stuff if you need to. Pretty cool, pretty good, uh, pretty good system set up in there, I think. Uh, for being able to manage stuff and organize it, especially with that tray that I have in there. Uh, the other thing, I guess, is all the controls and stuff here. You know, it's not like some of the trucks that I had where the, the dash was so far forward that if you wanted to reach the right side, for example, you'd have to lean. You'd have to lean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and who wants to do that? You know, if you're, if you're doing this while you're driving, you're not watching the road. That's right. kind of a drag. Yes. So I like the way everything is set up and that you can reach all the buttons and controls and all that stuff. It works out quite well, in it my does. opinion. Even have your uh, four-wheel four -wheel drive or drive selector right here beside you and not hidden up underneath the dash somewhere yes. uh, where you can't see it. Yep. So pretty cool. Another thing that I'll mention uh, is up here on the dash you guys can see right here there is an indented space where you can put stuff like your sunglasses or maybe your phone or anything that you might yeah, want to lay up it there. It is rubber so stuff will stick there. There is indeed so that works quite well. The other thing about this little piece which needs to be cleaned by the way but mm -hmm. it lifts right out of there and it is held in by these little nubs yes. under here but it does lift out easily so that you can clean it if you want to and the rubber as Krista mentioned there uh, keeps everything from sliding around that's awesome that is awesome so I think the setup in here ergonomically is uh, has been done it is correct and it was done very well uh, by Toyota uh, I hope that in their refresh their remodel that they don't push everything forward and uh, move it out of easy reach mm -hmm. you know that would be kind of a drag yeah, I think it's a great setup. I think it is too. Plenty of room for all your stuff, as you guys can see. Yeah, and all your extracurricular buttons are right there. They're not hidden underneath anywhere. They're, everything is right. Everything's right here where you can see it. Everything that you need. Yep. I mean the the trailer uh, brake and a couple other. I think there's tow haul mold down here, and then a traction control on and off uh, is right within arm's reach. I don't have to you know, reach halfway across the truck or dive down and try to look underneath the steering wheel mm -hmm. uh, for where those buttons are. So, excellent job ergonomically. It's kind of difficult to say. Ergonomically correct. Ergonomically correct, correct inside the Tundra. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just wanted to get on here since I had mentioned that in another video and uh, maybe give you a little more detail on that. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't before. Give it a thumbs up. Give this video a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. On the web. Have a good day.